Every morning before work, Owen Watts visited the nursing home. The halls were mostly empty. Only a few doors stood open. Residents sat outside their rooms, knitting or reading, glancing up as he passed, most staring at his uniform. At his mother's door, he paused and peered in. Owen had a dangerous job, but that moment every morning was easily the most frightening he faced every day. One morning, he knew he would find the room empty, the narrow bed made, his mother's pictures and belongings gone. But not today. She sat in a chair by the window, a book in her lap. He breathed doubt as he crossed the threshold, his heavy footfalls drawing his mother's attention, and instantly a smile. Life had taught Owen the value of time, how precious it was, how quickly things changed. His work had left scars on his body. Life had left a few on his soul. They were what made him cling to the time he had left with his mother. Reading anything good, he asked as he took the seat across from her. Well, I just started, but it looks promising. An original premise and a likable main character. She studied him a moment. What's the matter? Nothing. She cocked her head. Work, he said simply, hoping she would drop it, knowing she wouldn't. What about work? Work is getting weird. Weird how? Weird as in I'm slowly being replaced by robots. It's safer that way. True. You're worried about what you'll do next, when the robots have completely replaced your job. Owen smiled. You can read me like one of those books. That's what mothers are for. She paused. I know what's really bothering you. He raised an eyebrow. Your limitation. Growing up, Owen's mother and father never used the word handicap. Limitation, that's the word they used, because everyone has limitations. Can I bore you with a piece of advice, she asked. He exhaled and nodded. Life isn't about your limitations. They matter far less than you think. You make a living doing what you're good at. That's what's important. Your strengths, not your limitations. I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. That'll be my new job, t-shirt salesman. She smiled. Always a tough one. But I know you listen, too. And I know you'll land on your feet. You just need a little faith. In yourself, most of all. She reached over to the bookcase and took out a small paperback and handed it to him. He read the title, The Birthright. He opened it and flipped to the first page and read it. Every human is born with a birthright. That birthright is happiness. Our greatest challenge to achieving happiness is not the obstacles we encounter in our life. The true barrier to happiness lies inside of us and it's the one thing we can't ever escape, our own mind. From birth, we are educated on countless aspects of life, from personal hygiene to personal finance, but there is no widely accepted curriculum for understanding and managing our minds. Indeed, almost every human remains the victim of their own mind throughout their entire life, never learning to master it or manage it or even understand it. The Birthright was written to change that. This book is an owner's manual for a human mind. If you read it and do the maintenance it recommends, your mind will run smoothly. It will break down less often, and in the end, it will take you to your birthright. Indeed, a well-tuned mind is the only road to true and lasting happiness.